Hello, my name's Martin Dory. I'm a writer and a surfer, and I live in Bude in North Cornwall. I'm also the founder of a project called the Two Minute Beach Clean. It's a very simple idea. All it is, is that next time anybody goes to the beach, we invite them to spend just two minutes picking up marine plastics. And it's particularly important at this time of the year. In the autumn, we get these wild seas on shore winds and it brings all the marine plastics and with every tide, it ends up here along the tide line, as you can see. Why take marine plastics out of the environment? Well, apart from the fact that pieces of rope like this could end up entangling a seal or a dolphin or a whale, or lost fishing lures like these could end up, well, carrying on fishing, um, or hypodermic needles like this could end up hurting somebody. Um, balloon releases like this could end up entangling birds, animals, but also plastic breaks down in the marine environment. It doesn't biodegrade. So all it becomes is it just becomes these kind of smaller and smaller fragments and they'll just continue to become smaller fragments and they attract toxins as they break down and eventually they become microplastics which to any fish could well look like dinner. Now I love my food and I love my fish and the last thing I want is for me to have a fish on my plate that's full of toxic plastic. So hence every single piece of plastic that I remove from the beach is a piece of plastic that isn't going to end up in my dinner or killing a seabird. So what we're going to do now is show you just how much you can pick up in two minutes. Okay, so down here on the Strand Line at Northcott, going to find out just how much I can pick up in two minutes. Here we go, right, well, first of all, biro, somebody's thrown away. Looks like a yogurt pot. There's a straw of some description. Old fishing float, bottle lids, more rope. Obviously, if we don't take this, that could end up entangling something, so we'll get rid of that. Plastic bags, as we know, these things float around in the water and look like jellyfish and things like turtles and other animals eat these and it will kill them. So the more we remove, the better. And wouldn't it be great if we had a ban on plastic bags in England? Some old shredded fishing net, top of a four pack, single use water bottles. We don't need to use them. Why not just grab a canteen, fill it up, refill it from the tap. It will save all this. Bits of silicon, large piece of old plastic pipe there. There you go, two minutes. It's amazing, really, what you can find in just two minutes. I'll turn that off. But uh, the point is that you might think that, it's, that this is nothing compared with the amount of rubbish that's on this beach, but it really does make a difference because everything has got the potential to harm wildlife. And so removing it, any of it, is a good thing. But just imagine if we all got together. If everybody that visited this beach today spent two minutes picking up rubbish, we'd soon have it clear. And even though the next tide is going to bring in more, we just keep going and we'll still manage to make a difference. Now, if you want to get involved in the Two Minute Beach Clean project, it's very, very easy. We use our hashtag, Two Minute Beach Clean, and what we do is we ask people to take a picture on their smartphone of the rubbish you pick up. It could be something arty you've made, it could be something unusual, it could just be a huge pile of stuff that you found and we ask you to post it with that hashtag to Instagram or to Twitter and there people can look on our website at beachclean.net and they can see the culmination of everyone's hard work. There are pictures on there from um, New Zealand, from Australia, from Florida as well as all around the UK and you can have a look on that site and see exactly what a difference it's starting to make. So there you go. You're not powerless, you do have the power to change the world.